Yeah, he and this is this is epic. This is this is this is epic. That's all I can say, right? We're gonna talk about a lot of things today, and I just want Global CZ to introduce himself. Like, go ahead, bro. Yes, sir, man. Shout out to King Riches for bringing me on. You feel me? I'm Global CZ. Uh, I do content traveling. You know, just telling the experience, showing y'all the funny vlogs, the entertainment. And just inspiring y'all to get out and travel the world more, you know? And you actually reacted to my video the other day. And I actually just randomly came across the reaction. And I seen, it was one of the best breakdowns I've ever seen. So, and, I, and it looks like you've already, like, made some of these points on your channel and stuff like that. So, let's get into it. Yeah, man. Um, tell them, tell, tell the audience a bit about yourself, like where you come from and stuff like that, like who you are, and like what you're doing now, and like the travel, the whole travel aspect and stuff. Yeah, I'm from Boston, and like I started traveling for music. You feel me? I, I actually came to London first. I actually came to London first, and um, I realized it was just so different from the U.S. Like just the love you get. I realized like. The London dudes and the London women, they're just kind of friendly. You might think they're not friendly, but like compared to America, it was just way friendlier. You're just getting way more love. You know, like people. You think, just, you think London is friendlier than the US? Yeah, like. For real? I, I'm from Boston. Like, okay. we're they assholes, like the most unfriendly state. You feel oh, me? Right. So when I get to the UK, I'm seeing the diversity. I'm, well, London, I'm seeing the diversity. I'm seeing white people. I, I didn't feel no racism there compared to like America and segregation. And there was no crime. So that was just there a mind no crime. crime. Not crime. <laughs> but I didn't have to worry about nobody having a gun. <laughs> you feel me? Like, I don't I, know about that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where you was at, but you was in some nice part of London, man. That's good, though. That's good that you was there, though. <laughs> but it was just like the the gun shit, just all type of shit just went out the window when I was in um when I was in the UK. You feel me? Compared to, it's like Asia. I'm in Asia right now. You will have a great experience in Asia, but that doesn't mean a local would just like have the same experience. It's kind of like coming out and getting out of your comfort zone and getting out of what you're used to, you know? Yeah. So you're traveling there. Then I started traveling around Europe, you know? Okay. That's when I started my travel channel. I started traveling around Europe and it was a little bit racist. I ain't gonna lie. It wasn't really my vibe, not my style. And then I came to Asia and that's when my channel kind of like started taking off. That's when I realized there was a real market for people that want to see what's going on in Asia. A lot you know? of black guys. Yeah, a lot of black guys, a lot of older dudes, a lot of military dudes, a lot of young dudes that want to travel. So that's just how the channel started taking off, you know? No, nah, that's dope, man. Because, like, um, I, I don't know if you know, but I lived in the U.S. too. Like, I lived in um, North Carolina, I was there for like five years. I did college football, football, yeah, and uh, yeah, it, that was a big experience. Like traveling, it, it changes you. It makes you, it makes your mind like 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 wider. Like you know, it just opens your mind. You get what I'm saying? And like, cause I was pretty much like everybody else where I came from in South London. You know, everybody's kind of like narrow minded. You know, you just stick to your own, the same kind of people, same kind of friends. Like you get what I'm saying? And then, like, obviously, go to a new country. You don't know nobody. You ain't got no one to, like, kind of back you up kind of thing. It gives you a lot of new skills. Do you get what I'm saying? And then, like, you know, meeting different people. So I can relate to you 100% on that. But don't go around telling everyone that London is safe, bro, because it ain't. <laughs> it ain't, bro. Trust me. There was a video There was a video that came out, um, I think it was a couple days ago, and it was literally two two teenage boys, black guys, obviously, and they're literally fighting broad daylight with machetes in North London, bro. Like broad daylight. 
<laughs> so don't be, <laughs> let's not get confused out here, bro. Like I was just in Brixton today, bro. Like there's crazy stuff in Brixton today. 